feel like in this day and age, there is a simulator game for everything. Every job, every occupation. Well, today we're about to become a electrician. I should not be allowed any, near any live wires. <laughs> I, should, I should not be allowed. I should not be allowed to drill into any walls, anything like that. I should not, yeah, you get the point. Uh, this is a new game coming out, um, I believe today, as of this video going live. I'll leave a link to the game in the description below. Um, this is a review code. Uh, the developer sent it over. So uh, let's check it out. Let's become a electrician. First shock. Hopefully the first shock isn't too intense. I wonder if you can actually die in this game. I'm actually being truthful. If you screw up, if you drill into the into a live wire that hasn't been earthed, for example, it could be bad. <laughs> very, very bad. Uh, thank you for coming. I see you are ready to start your journey as a real electrician. Yes. Great, for now, I need your help with some small tasks in a regular customer's house. Oh, you need to introduce, what, you need an introduction first. Yes, I, yes I do. An introduction into how to read, apparently. So in the top left-hand corner, yep, over there, I can see, um, you'll see the current tasks and jobs. Since you are here already, you can help me with selling all this garbage laying around this garage. A reward, okay. You can keep the change. Okay, thank you very much. So we need to get rid of all this stuff. We've got a flashlight apparently as well. At the top, you can see a compass. You'll find all the important objects on there. For now, it will help you to find all the sellable items. Okay, what can we sell? Got reputation as well and money. Here, take this $200 as pocket money. Well, aren't I the coolest dad? You are, thank you for that. Right, so there's 25 items available. I can sell this plank for five, five dollars? That's not too bad, is it? Plyboard, shelf, a crate for eight dollars, a box for six dollars? I wish life was this easy. <laughs> sell a cardboard box for nine dollars. I mean, I'm guessing there's something inside it, of course. Steel plate, another crate. Yeah, there's just so much stuff to sell. Plank, a rake. A few more bits over here, some wheels. Car mechanic simulator, anyone? Or is it snowy outside? I must admit, I've never owned a snow shovel. Because I don't really need to. We did it! Our first task. Great. Our garage is clean, but at least cleaner than before. Now go to my laptop and accept a job. You need a password, of course but I have put it in. Okay, thank you. Let's think about a bathroom. Right, uh, do you know the password? What is it? Is there like a note there? Ah, oh, there we go. Password on the back. Okay, click and hold. On the back, rotate it. Oh, there we go. Five, four, six, eight. Oh, we can do that. Five, four, six, eight. Um, I have no idea if this game is going to come out on consoles. Uh, normally, if it does fairly well on PC, it's a sort of a natural progression. Um, so yeah. Darkness in the bathroom for this old gentleman. Okay, that's not good. We need to help this man out. I want to turn the bathroom light on and it didn't work. I'm an old man and it's really difficult to take a bath in the dark. That is true. I hope that repairing the light switch will not be a big problem. I'm not a rich man and I can't offer much for the job, but I hope you will help me anyway. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, oh, maybe the screwdriver. Do I not have one yet? Yes. Small screwdriver. Okay. So the tools of the trade might be useful. Oh, hello. Look at me go. Um, and I will accept the job. My first ever job. Yay. So it's accepted. How do we get there? Um, oh, they're leaving the vehicle. Ah. We're good to go. Let's do this. So they normally have um, particular electricians have, I don't know what it is, like an actual, a good screwdriver basically, where it's like maybe rubberized or something. So if you accidentally do hit a live cable, it should not kill you. <laughs> um, here you go. It's your first electrician job. Ooh, every time you come to a new customer's house, you can take a quick look, but first go to the fuse box. The most important thing in every electrician's job. Yes, turn off the power. 
Good idea. Very good idea indeed. Uh, that's close. So where would the fuse box be? Uh, fuses are still alive. This must be the bathroom. Okay. Both of these doors are closed. Ah! The fuse box. Remember, every time you work with electrical stuff, turn off the fuse box or kill the power first. Okay, the light switch does seem to be working. No? Am I just freaking out right now? Maybe it's this one he means. Ah, okay. Check all the wires are connected correctly. Right, one second. Turn the power off. There we go. So it's this light switch here. How do I check it? Turn on interaction mode. Ah, here we go. So we're going to check the cable in first. Um, all right, click on different light switch apart to take it apart. You can rotate the camera, zoom in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right, got it. Ah, these are the wires behind the switch. Okay, and here comes the tricky part, so the wires. For now, we will help you connect them in the right spots, okay? So normally it's a positive and a negative, right? After everything's connected accordingly, you should be able to switch on the light. Okay, got it. So that's interact. So that's that's gone. Taking off the screws with my little screwdriver. So it looks like the, for some reason the, the cables have come off. That's a bit weird. So I need to remove these screws first. Why can't we take Ah, oh, there we go. And then select this. Maybe. Is that the right? Is that the right one? I hope so. <laughs> well, this is really gonna hurt. Well, was it ever screwed in correctly? I think we did it. So is that done? I believe so. There we go. Uh, check to see if it's working. So turn all the power back on. And let's check. Does it work now? Yay! There we go. I did my first job. Look at us go. Back to the office. A very simple job. Wasn't quite sure what I was doing, but I got there in the end. Mission complete. There we go. Got a bit of XP. Bit of money. I even got money for checking it's working. I mean, I've got $20 for that. It's not bad, is it? I'll take that. So I'm guessing there might be another job available. All right, we've got two, actually. Hello, sir. Found this old console in my grandpa's house. I want to play it, but the controller doesn't work. Can you help me? My dad told me that the battery in the controller is wrong. Can you fix it, sir? I don't have any money. Um, so I can't give you anything, but please help. I want to play my games. Okay, so it does say there is some money as a reward and some XP. I'll have a look, why not? So is that like a workbench mission? Is that right? Uh, yes. Is it here? Okay, interesting. Finally got here, son. I'm so excited, your first time at the workbench. It is a bit limited right now. That seems to be a lot that's going to open up, I would imagine. We're going to become, become a true electrician. You need to buy a screwdriver upgrade for this. I think I've already got that, actually. Actually, I might not have it. Ooh, $210. Do I have money for that? Right, so... Where do we begin? I'm going to buy the upgrade. Hopefully that's the right one. Do I have to buy all this? I think I might do actually. Is that tweezers? Tweezers? Right, we have screws. Right, screwdriver. Let's begin fixing this little battery. I like he's got a little screw compartment so he doesn't lose them. Very good. Uh, right, we need to take in the case off as well. I don't even know where the battery actually would be. Oh, there's the battery. Yeah. So I've disconnected it. How do I fix the battery? Replace. $15. Um, and then we can start putting the stuff back in. Okay, there we go. So we can now assemble again. I've got the new battery. 
So that's all connected, as far as I can tell. Back case. Yep. Was there something else we took off? I can't even remember now, actually. Uh, right, now it's connected. What else do we have? Is it just the front case? Yeah. That might be it. I've still got to screw it back on. But I think that might be it. There we go. Is it assembled? It is assembled. Tested it, and it's good. There we go. The kids should be happy. A good deed was done today. Very good deed. All right, good morning. I'm new in this town. I haven't even had the chance to unpack yet. But there's already one thing bothering me. There's an, there's a, sorry, there's a lot of outlets in my new home, in my new house, but many of them aren't working. I can't watch TV. And I can't turn my lamp on in the bedroom. I guess I know why the house was so cheap. So I'm guessing there's a lot of cabling issues at the back. We can accept that. We can do that. Pretty decent money. Bit of XP. She seems nice. Why not? Let's help her out. I'm an electrician. That's what I do after all. Let's get to this job. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want me to do more on this, let me know. Um, I would definitely, definitely be up for that. Um, yeah. I should probably test the uh, outlets first, shouldn't I? Alright, so I turned the power off, so we can have a look at this socket first and try and get it repaired. Right, so this is where the cables need to be connected. Let's zoom in. Let's unscrew these. Will it tell me which one it wants to go to? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> That is really good. So there's a positive, negative, and an earth. I think that's the earth, I believe. Might be completely wrong. Completely wrong, I have no idea. So that's the first one done. Fix the outlet. So the TV, once the power's on, we should be good. Famous last words. Right, there we go. Done. Go me. So that door's closed. How do we get to the... Where do I find a point of key? Did she leave me a key? Ah, she did leave me a key. Mysterious key. There we go. I mean, it would help if you plugged it in. It's an EU one. All right, let's see if this light actually turns on. I've now plugged it in. Oh, wow. It now seems to work. Does the alarm clock work? Yep. I don't see an issue here. It seems fine. Oh, this one maybe. Ah. Uh, yeah. This one doesn't come on. Okay. This is the one that's the issue. Also, I don't think I have the screwdriver unlocked. There we go. Yeah, again, no cables are connected. What is this absolute madness? There's this uh, TikTok account I follow. And this guy just goes around to like new builds and just picks apart these houses, honestly. Like, the amount of mistakes and screw-ups. Oh, it's terrible. It's shocking. So we, I moved into um, a place that wasn't brand new. It was a bungalow that they turned into a, a two-floor house, basically. And even then we had issues. Very annoying. Like, just simple stuff like the extractor wouldn't work. Uh, dishwasher wasn't working. Um, it's loads of little weird things. It, well, because it wasn't done by like a proper firm, it was annoying it to fix it. <laughs> right, so that's done. Um, let's see if that is now working. Fingers crossed. Turn the power back on. And the light. So it says fix the outlet. I'm not sure what outlet that is yet. It should. There we go. Look at that. And let's turn the TV on as well. Oh, lovely. So there's one outlet that's causing issues, apparently. Um, does that one seem okay? I'm not quite sure what one that is. So we'll have to have a look. Have to do some investigational skills. 
Actually, it might tell me. Yeah, it tells me on the on the map, on the on the on the HUD. I don't actually need to search at all. So this one, I guess, it also isn't connected. What shoddy workmanship? What is this? Absolutely shocking. Get rid of the screws. Connect it up. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to know exactly where the cables go because it would end in tears. It really would. Alright, that's done. Put screws back. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. I am actually quite fond, and that sounds weird, of the UK plug and the sockets. They're, they're very safe. They're very safe indeed. As someone that has a kid now, I appreciate it quite a bit. I think we're done. We did it. I don't know if it was a super quick. Probably not, but I'll take it. It was done in a safe manner. We got the jobs done. Oh. I thought something went wrong then. I <laughs> just heard this. It's like it went horribly wrong. It's all good. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. You got paid well for that. I got $10 for turning the TV on. That is madness. Imagine actually seeing that in like a lowdown of like what you paid for and see you charge someone $10 to turn the TV on. I'll be like, I'll be fuming. Absolutely fuming. I'll be so angry. Right, what's happened here? This looks a bit suspicious. I won't lie. <laughs> a plant lover. Okay. Yeah, sure. Hello there. Um, I have heard from my friends that you are beginning. Um, I'm, I'm a beginning electrician. Yes, that is, that is true. That's great. Um, I got this carbon minoxy monox, mon, monoxide sensor. So that's put next to your boiler. If it starts to leak out a certain gas, um, it will beep, which stop working. I'm worried because I don't feel safe anymore while taking a bath. Can you please fix it for me? I will do my very, my very damnedest to fix it for you ASAP. I will try my best. Um, so, screwdriver first, I would imagine. Yep. Cut the screws. So we need to work out what part is not working. It'd be nice if it was just the battery, but batteries look fine. Okay, <laughs> fine. Also, I like how that screwdriver looks incredibly weak. The fact that I've just unscrewed a couple of objects and it's like, yeah, we're done. Uh, fine. So let's work out what is going wrong here. Let's like disconnect this. Get rid of that. Any suspect parts yet? Ooh! The battery socket is broken. Okay. So let's see if that fixes the issue. Um, I'm not feeling particularly confident, but you never know. Could have noticed that a little bit earlier. So that's now A-OK. -okay. Looking good. And the battery's back in. Batteries are fine. We've recently started using rechargeable batteries and they're just they're so inconsistent. Sometimes they last a decent amount of time. I think it depends on what you what operation you give them basically. Um, stuff like lights. They're still broken. No! Damn it! <laughs> I thought I was done. Okay. We're gonna try again. Right, so we have a broken screen plate and a sensor. This is Honestly, I would recommend prob I can try and fix it. Oh, okay. Um, how do I do that? Oh, ah, there you go. Soldering iron. So that will release that. I guess I'm ready to replace that, right? I'm ready to buy. Yes. There we go. Solder it back on with my soldering iron. There we go. Is that good now? Broken. Oh no. 
So to unsolder that. This is this is definitely what I should have just replace this. I should, yeah, I should go. Yeah, this is you need to replace this. Buy a new one on Amazon. Get Amazon Prime. Uh, so there's a bunch of um, conductors and stuff like that on the back. Maybe causing a few issues. All good? Oh, it's broken. That's broken. How do I get that off? Uh, maybe the solder? Yeah, there we go. Ah. Need some tweezers. I've got that. And then replace it. Cost one dollar. And then solder it back on. Look at me. Engineering expert. So it's now good. It's now in a good shape. Uh, what about the sensor? Can I fix that as well? Apparently I can. I wouldn't trust me fixing this, honestly. I'd rather them just... That's broken. So it's probably worth just checking all the parts first. None on the back. Right, let's just begin with this. Solder this off. Tweezers. This is my, this is my first proper repair, so... It'll take me a little bit of time to get used to it. Look at the small solders on that. There we go. Get the old tweezers again. I think that might be it. Yeah. Not soldered. Of course. I apologise. It's not soldered, it just falls straight off. It won't be connected to the system. The microchip. Um, is there something else I've missed? Oh, yes there is. Uh, do I solder that off? Apparently I do. Tweezers? Seven dollars for that? Again, you should have just bought a new one. <laughs> Amazon Prime is great, believe me. Right, uh, not soldered. Is it not done yet? It must be done now, surely. Yes, it's now in good condition. Yay! Go me! Right, where do we even begin with this? <laughs> right, cover good. Uh, swing it round. It should all now connect together. And we should all be good. Fingers crossed. I have to put all my screws back. I like you've got a little bit of a count there as well, don't you? If you know how many screws you got left. Connect that up. Uh, what next? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Um, I think it's the battery bit. Ah, oh, more screws. One there as well. What next? I don't know. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it another screw there? Yes, there we go. Just trying to spot the screws. This is actually quite fun. This is actually quite cool. It's actually surprisingly more in depth than I expected. More screws left. I'm hoping. Yes, we fixed it. There we go. Four, three hundred and forty dollars. You're a mad woman. But I'll take your money. Cheers. <laughs> and I will run with it. Yeah. So that is the the first episode of me becoming an electrician. I'm, I'm trying to be a decent guy. I'm trying to help out the uh, the kids, the common folk, the older gentlemen. I'm trying my best. Um, yeah, a surprisingly in-depth game. There's a lot to this. Um, if you guys want me to do more, let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.